Okay, this is how you use and install Blender OSM. So first you need to go to gumroad.com slash l slash blosm and you need to download it and uh, pay for it. It's $17.80. And then when you download it, you should get two files. You should get assets.zip and blender osm.zip. And then once you've done that, you want to load up Blender. So in Blender, go to Edit, Preferences, and then choose the Add-on tab, and then select Install, and then go to the place where you downloaded those two files. And then you want to select Blender OSM.zip, press Install Add-on from File, and then you need to enable it by pressing this square. And now what we need to do is we need to get that other file called Assets, and we need to copy it into a location that can be accessed by Blender. So I'm just going to copy it to my D drive. I'm going to put it in the scratch folder and then I'm going to put it in a folder called Blender OSM. And then this is just a temporary location that holds the 3D assets to make the scene. So you want to unzip this file and then you can delete the original. Okay, so we go back to Blender now. We press this triangle to expand the settings. And now we have to find that assets folder. So the directory with assets we have to choose here. So we go to the place where we put our assets folder in Blender OSM assets. And then press accept. And then this is where your downloaded OpenStreetMap data is going to go. So I'm going to put this just in the folder above that. So D, Scratch, Blender OSM, and I'm just going to put it on the top level here. So once you've set those up, you are pretty much good to go. If you want, you can sign up for Mapbox, and then you can put your Mapbox access token in here but this isn't essential. This is just so that you can get the satellite image. So you can copy this to the clipboard, go back into the add-on and paste it using uh, Control V. You can't right click in this field. Um, so these are all the settings. So now I'm gonna close this window, go to Blender, <clears throat> and the interface for the add-on can be found in this side panel here, which you can expand by pressing this little tab or you can press the hotkey N and then if you go to the OSM tab you'll see the user interface for the add-on so in order to use this you press the button select and this will launch a browser window and then in the browser window you can zoom to the area that you're interested in downloading so I'm just going to zoom into London here and find a little bit of something. So if you press this button, show selection rectangle, you'll get a rectangle appearing. And bear in mind that you don't want to set this too big because it will probably take quite a long time to load all of the data in an urban area. So I'm just gonna set mine about this size. I mean, you can set it bigger, but it will just take longer to download all the data. And then once you've chosen your area, press copy over here, go back to Blender, and then press paste, and it will paste those coordinates into Blender. And I'd recommend starting by choosing terrain, and then press import to import the terrain. So you'll notice that the terrain has come in very big, and we can't see it all properly. But if we go to view, and then frame selected, camera will zoom out to show us, although another problem is that it's disappeared now because the view clip is too close to the camera. So to fix that we go to the view tab and you want to set clip end to something like 10,000 or possibly even higher than 10,000. So we've got our terrain, now we go back to the OSM tab and we choose OpenStreetMap and I'm going to choose 3D Simple because it just gives us basic blocks for buildings. If you choose 3D Realistic, 
it'll use that assets folder to try and put like fake windows on all of your buildings, but I just want plain buildings. So I'm going to choose 3D simple. And then I'm going to press import. And as you can see, it's imported all of my 3D building data that was available on OpenStreetMaps. You can see there's St. Paul's over there, and we've got a bridge, and there are lots of layers in this. So there are roads, uh, there's like footpaths, I think, and it also does railways if you tell it to do rail. I mean, actually, I had railways turned off, so it didn't import railways. But you can see in an urban area, you can get quite a lot of good um, building info. And if you turned on the, um, if you entered a, an API key for your map box, you can choose um, image overlay. And with your terrain object in the settings, you can press import and it will um, download image tiles for the satellite data for um, the map box. Okay, so it's finished importing the image uh, satellite data, but in order to see it, we need to change the display mode. Um, and the easiest way to do that is to press this little button in the corner here, which is the texture, textured view. And I think it's there's a bit of Z fighting here going on because we've got another object that's for the for the water, but that's just an object that you can um, hide or remove. Um, and it seems to have done a pretty good job.